Hey guys, so I'm so excited to be talking about my 30 day journaling challenge that just finished about four or five days ago. Journaling to me is one of the best forms of expressing myself and processing emotions, processing goals for the future, processing what's going on right now for me. I haven't stumbled across anything quite like journaling that has allowed me to uh, not only process everything which nature provides, um, I'll talk a little bit about that later on in this video, but what journaling provides that nature can't, and there's things nature provides that frankly journaling can't, but journaling allows me to look back and reflect on how far I've come, what I was thinking in certain moments, how I was feeling, which honestly for some people really might not matter, but for me, which I just love looking back on um, different moments in my life, different spaces I was in, different feelings that came up. That to me is how I continue to grow and learn and, and explore myself and my development, I guess. so. Journaling is an incredibly powerful tool that I've been utilizing for a long time. So before I talk about the benefits that I have written about and made a list of that I want to talk about, I'll just say that this challenge was probably biased from the beginning because I already know the effect that journaling has while there were some things that came through more clearly while there were some things that definitely came through more strongly because I was consistently journaling for 30 days every single day. I didn't even really get into, I guess, my what the, the setup was, but I guess I should talk about that. So the setup was basically I had a minimum of 20 minutes a day and beyond that, I could do more or, or just stop there at 20 minutes and to be honest most days I journaled for a little bit more and there was two days that I didn't quite make the 20 minutes because I had to um, rush out to go somewhere and I never finished later that day so 28 days I did over I did 20 minutes or over and most days it was over 20 minutes because I tend to start with um, either say tasks or goals that I want to accomplish that day or that week or I start with gratitude and just start listing or writing um, about things I'm grateful for and why I'm grateful for them and um, that always tends to spiral me into a really positive and healthy mindset for my day so that's how I start and then I just take it from there and see where it goes. So I may have briefly touched on these five things that I'm going to talk about. Uh, the five benefits that I see to journaling and then at the very end I will kind of talk about um, more about the challenge. So the first thing I want to talk about is creating a habit or a routine in your life. I think a lot of us maybe have been told or are looking for routines to have in our lives and they're hard to hard to keep unless there's a a real benefit or value that you feel you're getting from um, whatever that habit or routine is that you're trying to to create and so kind of forcing myself to create this space of reflection has really benefited my life in a huge way because I I know that this space is there and so to a certain extent I funnel a lot of my my energy could be frustration or anger or whatever it is I don't really tend to get angry but um, I funnel a lot of things that might come up throughout my day and become some sort of an issue or something I funnel that energy into my time when I get to journal um, which allows me to show up much more um, more thoughtfully and more authentically, I guess. I'm not really 
run by my emotions or I, I'm not really someone who reacts very fast usually to things. I tend to process and then um, reflect back after after the fact kind of. So yeah, creating that habit of waking up every morning and just journaling, setting a timer if you need a timer or just, um, yeah, really just creating creating the space because honestly, you think about that, 20 minutes a day is not a lot. Um, and for some people, it will be a lot and maybe it'll be too much for you. But find, find that place that's kind of the edge for you. Um, if you're well surpassing your, your limit or your challenge for yourself, likely you didn't set it high enough. So I just challenge you, if you have never journaled, start with like three minutes because that's definitely doable. And after you've passed three minutes, maybe you'll want to continue, maybe you won't. Um, but I find this routine and habit that I've created and I've kind of had for a long time, but not, again, I hadn't done 30 days um, consistently every day for 20 minutes. So there was a little bit more uh, of a habit and a routine there over this past month rather than the other times that I've been um, very consistently journaling. And so the second one kind of piggybacks on the first one and that is just giving yourself the space and unstructured time to write. Writing is an opportunity to release whatever's going on. And again, what I brought up earlier about being able to reflect on the past, talk about your present, you know, dream about your future and what, what you envision for yourself as well as write down goals and tasks. It's just a really great um, space, again, to, to create for yourself in your life. So the third thing I wanna talk about is productivity. I find myself so much more productive when I journal, when I find space and time to reflect first, to think ahead, of you know what's going to happen during the day and it's just creating this mental space that allows me to show up and focus more in my life while i was doing this 30-day challenge i created the most amount of content that i have over the last several months um, and i really attribute that to this challenge and the this other challenge that I'll be talking about soon in another video, but starting your day fresh, um, starting your day with gratitude sets the stage really well to have a productive day, not to be distracted by you know things that you really shouldn't be worrying about. It's it's freeing, to be honest. It's, it's a freeing feeling, having control over what's happening and how you're using your time. And the fourth thing piggybacks again off of this, which is consistency. I talked about it a little bit earlier, but consistency throughout my life, meaning not just consistency in maybe my productivity, which I just touched on, but consistency in how I'm showing up for my family, consistency within my own emotions. Um, I don't, I'm not being uh, over consumed or uh, controlled by, you know, feelings or emotions that might come out, come up throughout, throughout the day. Because again, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm really funneling that into my time to journal and reflect. And so I'm not, I'm not reacting, I'm, uh, I'm absorbing, I'm processing, and then I may offer a reflection if, if that feels necessary or right in whatever the situation may be. As someone who really likes to create balance in my life, this challenge has definitely done that for me. I, I love feeling um, like you know, I, I don't like feeling out of balance or unable to do things if I really 
if I really wanted to. And so this journaling challenge, I think, I guess above everything else, I can kind of distill it down to wanting to create a balance in my life. And the last thing is overall bringing more awareness to your life. While I've, I think, kind of touched on it already, I think what I want to share with you here is just how powerful of a motivator it's been to look back and to reflect on um, my previous writings and how much of a, a mental trigger or a motivator it has been inspiring me really through my own life and my own actions to continue to propel myself forward. There's something to be said about an awareness and understanding of yourself and your own development. And while, while at times I feel like it can be seen as egotistical to say that you are inspired by yourself and your own development, I have to say that through journaling, I've been able to really get into the space of, of appreciating my own journey and that it's one that really has inspired me to continue to grow and learn and explore the world. And it doesn't come back to me when I say that. It comes back to all the people, all the places I've been, all the people that have influenced my life, all the relationships I've had that have benefited me in such a huge way. And so when I say I'm inspiring, I find myself inspiring. This is not something that is so much about my journey because this really doesn't feel like my journey. I feel like I'm pieces of all this big puzzle that just keeps building and um, you know I'm the culmination of all these experiences and people and places I've been and opportunities I've had and so um, when I say that there's a lot of gratitude and appreciation and understanding for really who who and what has created me into the person that I am today. And so it comes back to other people, for me, not really myself and my own actions. Well, that's a little part of it. The bigger part is um, everything else. All right, so this is just about it. I wanted to show you my journal. I've been using these kinds of journals for, um, it's by Fringe. Um, I've been using these for a while. I much prefer the spiral bound. Um, also being left-handed, it's nice to feel like I have space and it's a small spiral bound because the I just don't like the ones that don't have a spiral. So yeah, and then just to show you here, this is the thing and that's what I did in a month. So I would say it's about mm, maybe a fifth or a fourth probably a fifth of um, my whole journal here. And then just to count the pages, so it's 20 pages front and back. And so it's just over um, a page, probably about a page and a quarter for um, every single day, which feels about right. There's definitely some time where I'm just sitting there and, and thinking and it's not even so much about the writing and what I'm writing, it's, it's the process that's going on within me that still relates to journaling. And um, again, it's a reflection process. It's, a, it's an opportunity, a space, a habit you're creating um, that allows you to just be with yourself. And when there, something comes up that you're ready to write, then write about it. I mean, it's kind of that simple. So for those of you who maybe are looking to start a journaling practice, I have a free guide and it involves a little, a little paragraph at the beginning and then several questions and prompts to get you to jumpstart your journaling practice. I'm not saying at all that journaling works for everyone because it really doesn't. Um, for some, maybe drawing and creating a habit of drawing in a specific notebook every morning 
maybe that's more your style or um, you know maybe you're really drawn to ideas and so similar to James Altucher who talks about um, cultivating an idea muscle maybe every morning you sit down and you just write down as many ideas as you you may have about business personal trips you want to go on whatever it may be you can create an idea journal I'm all for experimenting and discovering new ways to optimize my life and I would encourage you to as well because without doing challenges and challenging yourself um, going outside your comfort zone you won't know the potential that lies outside of that and so if this feels edgy to you I would encourage you to follow that and and to try journaling for say a week um, it doesn't have to be super long but powerful stuff has happened in here for me and even um, you know we can go back and look at other videos but I'll talk more about it in the future too but I'll just share here that I really attribute my tiny house being successfully um, built and the whole process of planning, creating, getting funding, and actually building it, I really do attribute it to my journaling because it was in probably 500 entries in my journal before I even started building. And so it's the power of creating your reality that this also is has been it's just had a huge impact on my life and so if there's something I want to manifest or create as a reality I will I will write about it and uh, it's been such a powerful tool uh, I'm ready to go journal now <laughs> there's so much I have to say already so anyway Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you hanging in there with me. It's more of a sit down video. I'm sorry it's not more more fun, but uh, I wasn't quite sure how to film it. So maybe, maybe you can share more ideas. But anyway, I was just sitting and writing every day in various, various places. So yeah, I'm grateful. I hope you, um, you benefited from this video in some way and Everything will be linked below if you want to support me and my patreon you can visit that Which is also linked below. I have exclusive videos and blog posts and podcasts there for you to um, Check out that are more personal and that have um, Yeah, there's more detail there's certain things that I won't talk about publicly and that I am willing to talk about on a safe, more private um, space. And so that's what Patreon is, and you can check that out. I will talk to you super soon in another video. I would love your feedback in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, um, you can go ahead and do that, and I will talk to you super soon in another video. Bye. Life is wonderful